It's time, race fans. You're watching Weekly Racing at Lake Ozark Speedway. Brought to you by Black and White Roofing, Jefferson City Autoplex, Lake Recharge and Fire Equipment, The Lodge at Port Arrowhead, Chuck Yao, The Land Pro, Show Me Heating and Air Conditioning, Trailer Trends, Vaughn Pull and Spa, Whittles Pub and Grill, Apollo Porta Potties and Pumping Services, Casey's General Store, DeGraff and Reed Heating and Cooling, Purcell Tire Services, Log Boat Brewing Company, Martin Metal, All Weather Roofing and Restoration, Ozark Barge and Docks, and Passing Bob. Roofing has a passion for using the latest technology to install a new roof on your home or business. Warranties are transferable when you work with Black and White Roofing, adding value to your investment. And we also offer a lifetime warranty on a craftsmanship. If you're working with insurance, make Black and White Roofing your first call. You'll be working with disciplined pros. Veteran owned and operated, the team at Black and White Roofing has served in the armed forces, bringing a level of discipline to business often imitated but never duplicated. B -b -b Black and White Roofing right.
Casey's, famous for pizza. Signs attract half of all new customers. A vehicle wrap can get 30,000 views per day. On-site signage costs roughly two cents per view. At Impact Signs, Awnings, Wraps, we know signs work. Custom signs, interior or exterior, for any application. Commercial awnings, any shape, any size. Full color video displays, time and temp boards, gas price changers, and scoreboards. We can wrap anything. Vehicles, trailers, boats, and more. Check us out at impact4800.com. It's quick. It's easy. It's professional. Every time. There's no feeling in the world like a clean car. Quick Cars Unlimited Wash Club features unlimited washes for $22 a month. Plus, with every full-service oil change at Quick Car Lube & Tune, you'll get an interior clean for only $7. The Quick Car Unlimited Wash Club. Quick, easy, and professional. Every time. Now with expanded hours in Jefferson City and Osage Beach. You want a dock that'll withstand the wakes from a million boats? You want a dock that's different from the usual dock? Then you want a custom-built dock from Ozarks Barge and Dock in Gravoy Mills. Ozarks Barge and Dock has been consistently voted best dock builder at the Lake of the Ozarks. And we guarantee every dock we build. Ozarks Barge and Dock. We built the strongest docks on the lake. Who doesn't like to call their own shots and make their own decisions? That's why our customers are always in control at Lloyd Belt Automotive. You can go online anytime and check out our large inventory of high quality pre-owned cars, trucks, and SUVs. See something you like? You can chat with us online, fill out an app, and even check financing. You can buy with confidence knowing each vehicle goes through a 110 point inspection before it ever hits the lot. And we can even deliver it to you. It's really easy. Whatever works for you. Check us out at LloydBell.com.
Divine and Associates, powered by EXP Realty, where it's all about customer relationships. Looking to buy or sell land or farms in Miller, Morgan, or Camden County? Call Chuck Yo the Land Pro, 573-280-4452. Victoria Divine makes finding your home enjoyable, utilizing the latest technology to bring buyers and sellers together. Call her at 573-286-6216. Divine and Associates, powered by EXP Realty in Eldon. Located just outside of Versailles, Missouri on Highway K. Martin Metal, working hard for all your post frame and stud frame needs. And we're working hard to provide you with the best metal. The best windows and doors. Best lumber. The best trusses. Martin Metal, from start to finish, we're working hard for your success. Big Planet Media, located in central Missouri at the Lake of the Ozarks, specializes in both video and photography. For over 17 years, the staff has created thousands of video commercials for clients for broadcast and online purposes. Big Planet Media helps businesses with their marketing needs through the use of engaging video and helps create moments that last a lifetime. If you have an event that you would like captured, feel free to call and experience the difference with Big Planet Media. Visit us online at bigplanetmedia.com. And don't forget, like us on Facebook and YouTube.
a microphone, and we got one happy driver down here, Logan Seavey. I tell you what, by Power Eye standards, that's probably one of the longest features we've had this year. Yeah, it was uh, it was tough to get it going, and uh, I really really struggled there in the beginning. I kind of the first lap or two, I took off okay, and then I just got really really loose. Uh, I debated coming in there for a minute because I didn't really think I had a shot to win, and it just seemed like the longer run, my car just kept getting better and better, and uh, I don't know if the tires were starting to get a little heated up, and uh, they came in really good, and uh, you know, it's just one of those nights where you didn't want to be leading. Uh, you know, we've seen that a lot this year. Um, you know, Tucker stole a couple for me just like that, so uh, it's nice to finally get him back there and have, have him be the one leading, and uh, you know, when you're chasing, you just, you're just able to search and find what's better, and I found the middle down there, and um, you know, it really worked for me, and Tanner had the top going, but uh, you know, it was just a little too dirty there at the end, and uh, I think that's that's what got us to win there. Just finding the middle and uh, being able to make speed with it. Um, you know, just being able to search is huge here. So I uh, can't say enough about my team here, uh, all three of us on the podium. It just uh, just shows how good our race cars are, and uh, it's just so fun to drive these things. Now, Logan, you got uh, a masters of turning the wrenches and reading the racetracks. Did you get any signals during those caution periods? Uh, you know, one of those first reds, I, I uh, pulled up to the fence there and just kind of looked at Keith, and uh, that's when I was really struggling. And I was just, you know, I tried to tell him, you know, I was loose and see if he had any advice, and he just kind of told me to, you know, get the elbows up and, uh, you know, go go find find where my car goes fast. And uh, luckily there in the last 10 laps or so, I was able to find the middle, and it, it really worked for us. So, uh, you know, like I said before, uh, it's just a pleasure to drive these race cars with that how good they are and uh, you know they just never have issues and they uh, you know they work well everywhere we go even when we come to a track like this what well, he's never even seen or he's never raced here before so uh, you know it just shows how good he is and that's what you know racing midgets for so long does so uh, just fortunate to be here can't thank Toyota Mobile One KKM Keith and Pete enough for letting me come out here and do this of course you're going to have a very busy weekend and of course you're racing here tonight tomorrow night and then you're going to Duquoin Illinois racing for Venture Rainy Motorsports at the uh, Southern Illinois 100 yeah, yeah, it's nice to kick it off with a win here. Hopefully we can come back tomorrow and, uh, you know, run well, run up front again like we did tonight and uh, have some momentum going into Ducoin. Um, you know, we ran really good at Springfield, and that was a lot of fun, but uh, we're looking to win Ducoin. That's our that's our goal, and that's what that's what we're going to do. So hopefully uh, hopefully we can win another one tonight and then pick up my first stock car win at, at Ducoin Mile. It would be pretty cool to win a, a dirt race uh, in a stock car. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed that ride, let him hear you. Logan CV. I think they like you, Logan. <coughs> well, once again, second place, another good point night, though. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, I gotta remind myself to be smart quite a bit when it comes to that stuff. Uh, I probably could have tore the fence down on both ends, but I felt pretty good with what I was doing, and, uh, you know, it was good enough for second place tonight, I guess. Um, you know, Tanner actually actually got me there early, and and he got got put back, and uh, that that kind of sucks for him. But uh, good thing is it was a fun track and a badass crowd tonight. Uh, we get to come back out and do it again tomorrow. So thank you guys for coming. Well, a great second place finish. Let's go to our third place finisher, Tanner Carrick. Third place finish, but you got those Keith Coon cars, all three of them, in, on the podium. Yeah, we got to lead some laps tonight, but uh, we'll come back tomorrow, I guess, and lead all the laps instead of lead half of them uh, and get to the lead a little sooner so I don't have to keep you on back to second but yeah. that's racing. Uh, I, not only are you busy in the midgets but you're also very accomplished in sprint cars this year. You won a couple times uh, out in California. Yeah we just got a win on Friday at Silver Dollar Speedway and then Possible we ran Possible on Saturday and I was running second cut a tire down passing for the lead but other than that we've been pretty successful out in California for our second year running sprint cars. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you would, let's give our top three finishers a big round of applause. Once again, Tanner Carrick finishing in third, Tucker Klossmeyer in second, and one more big round of applause for Logie, Logan, Logan, Seeley.